Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Hydrogen and Fuel Cells Europe here at the Hanover Messe 2023. Please have a seat, have a drink, join us here at the technical forum where we dive into all of the nitty gritty details of the hydrogen technology. Up next, we'll be talking about a very interesting topic. We'll be talking about the O-ring materials for hydrogen stations devices. We'll be, I'm here with the president of Takaishi Industry, Hideyuki Takaishi-san. Please join the States. Give him a warm welcome, everybody. Hi. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank you for joining yeah. us. Yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Hideyuki Takaishi from Takaishi Industry Japan. Uh, today, uh, let me introduce the O-ring ma rubber material for hydrogen uh, station devices. So, oh, this is a controller. So, the first, uh, let me introduce my company. Uh, my company name is Takaishi Industry. As you know, uh, my name is Takaishi, and the company name is also Takaishi. So this, this is family-owned company. My grandfather founded in 1948, 75 years ago. My grand, uh, grandfather uh, founded. I am the th third generation. Headquarter is Osaka, Japan. In Osaka, it's a uh, uh, western part of Japan. And uh, uh, we have three factories in Japan and uh, one factory in Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh. And the total employees like uh, one, around 100. And our uh, product is like this. Uh, rubber shearing, rubber gaskets, rubber oiling. And uh, our normal applications, uh, besides the hydrogen, high pressure hydrogen, uh, our uh, product is uh, our product is uh, mainly used inside house, like inside the faucet, inside the shower, and inside the toilet. Uh, do you know Japanese typical toilet washlet? Uh, inside the washlet, our awnings are mainly used, and uh, of course, uh, under uh, for inside the gas cook, floor heating system, something like that. And uh, uh, in our business, we have three pillars in our business. One is mass production and the prototype and the R and D. Uh, of course, mass production is uh, very uh, main uh, our main business, but uh, we are very dedicated to uh, prototype and the R and D. Uh, and uh, uh, as a result of dedicating uh, prototype and R and D. Uh, Today's topic, uh, uh, today's topic is uh, one uh, result, uh, the, the uh, oiling materials for high-pressure hydrogen. So let me introduce about the, uh, what is oiling materials for high-pressure hydrogen. Uh, this is a, a schematic uh, diagram for a, 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 a hydrogen station, hydrogen refueling station to uh, refuel the FCB. Uh, there are many devices, like a hose, dispenser, uh, cylinder, a compressor, or something like that. And uh, inside uh, these devices, uh, many O-rings will be used, uh, in, like a nozzle, inside a nozzle, breakaway, valve, valves fitting, or something like that. And uh, today, I will uh, I, let me introduce. I will introduce to uh, to uh, focus on uh, one uh, device. Uh, this is what we call a breakaway device. Breakaway device is a, a safety device uh, in refueling to a SCB, and uh, required spe required specification uh, for a breakaway device is very severe. So charging time is less than three minutes, and uh, uh, pressure range, hydrogen pressure range is uh, 0 to uh, 700 bar, 7, uh, 70 megapascal. And the temperature range is my, from the minus 40 degrees up to uh, 85 degrees. That's the very severe for uh, rubber searings. And uh, uh, normal rolling will easily break like this. Uh, this is what we call uh, blister fracture with high pressure hydrogen. Uh, hydrogen will uh, easily penetrate into a uh, rubber o-ring itself, and uh, uh, is uh, rubber uh, no 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 uh, with uh, decompress the pressure, 
uh, hydrogen inside will inflate like a bubble. So, so, so uh, as a result, so, so inside the uh, no, no, hydrogen inside will break all in itself from inside. That is blister fracture, and uh, it, it's a big fracture. And the uh, other fracture, let me show you, uh, it's an overflow fracture with, uh, with uh, high pressure hydrogen. Uh, all in itself it will be inflated. And uh, uh, inflated rubber will overflow from the group. That will all, all also uh, become a fracture. And uh, another, f uh, another problem, it's a facial leak by a low temperature. With low temperature hydrogen, uh, as I said, uh, the hydrogen uh, temperature range is up uh, for, for the lowest, minus 40 degrees uh, Celsius. Uh, because of the, uh, the, that low temperature, uh, O-ring will be like frozen. O-ring will become like frozen. So it's, it's kind of solid. That's why uh, flexibility will be gone and uh, uh, hydrogen will be easily leaked from the surface. So the, the, uh, the kind of uh, blister fracture, overflow fracture, and the low temperature, that, that's a very big problem. And uh, we, uh, we, uh, we had a challenge to, uh, to find the best solution, best rubber compound mix. So, uh, we associated with academia, a university professor, and uh, we, uh, ha ha we had uh, many experiments. Let me show you one, uh, ex uh, one example. This is a, a statistical method, uh, what we call the orthogonal array experiment, uh, L9, uh, to improve the, 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 the uh, performance in low temperature. So uh, we set the nine pattern, nine, combi uh, nine combination of a uh, uh, compound. And uh, we uh, made an experiment with high pressure hydrogen, and uh, we, uh, we saw uh, which is the good, we looked for the, uh, which uh, co combination will be great. So uh, this is the result of the uh, high pressure hydrogen uh, test. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, number four, five, six is a very good performance with uh, cycling test uh, in uh, uh, minus 40 degrees and uh, 85 degrees. So, let me show you the picture. Uh, this is a picture of the cross-cut cross cut section of O-ring after the high pressure hydrogen test. Uh, as you can see in the center circle in red, uh, there's uh, no leaking and uh, no, no fracture, uh, no uh, crack, no blister. Uh, no, it is a very good result. Uh, on the other hand, number one, two, three on your uh, left side, and uh, uh, number seven, eight, nine on the right, right side. Uh, the, you, can, uh, you can see the, the cracks uh, in, in the cross -cut, cut section. Uh, that, that will uh, leaking, that, that will the co cause of the leaking. So uh, we found the uh, uh, best solution. But uh, this is a ju just a rubber test uh, and, and 10 times of cycling. So we need to uh, make an uh, endurance test, more and more uh, cycling test. And uh, we, do, uh, we tested in a hydrogen test center in Fukuoka prefecture. prefecture. So this is the uh, result of the pressure cycling test. With minus 40 degrees uh, hydrogen and uh, fresh, with a pressure of uh, 90 megapascal. So we made a, a many times of cycling test, uh, 6,600 times. The, after the, that cycling test, there's uh, no leaking and uh, no uh, fracture. So it is, it is a very good performance, very good result. That's why uh, from 2014, uh, our O-rings are used in a real hydrogen station, real hydrogen refueling station in Japan. So, and I want to expand to uh, this featured, uh, very unique O-rings uh, to uh, Europe. So that's why every year uh, since uh, 2014, uh, every year uh, we exhibit at 
here, Hanover Messe in Germany. So uh, every year uh, I exhibit here, and uh, after, uh, so as a result, uh, our links are used in uh, uh, valves for high-pressure high hydrogen in Europe company, European company. So uh, this year, uh, I again, uh, uh, I, I, I'm here. Uh, we exhibit uh, at booth F22 here, this whole 13. Uh, this side, this, this direction. So uh, please come our booth, uh, so bye. Yeah, uh, it's my pleasure. So uh, this is the end of the presentation. Uh, let's make world cleaner, greener. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for your presentation, Takeshi-san. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Are there any questions from the audience uh, at the moment? If so, please raise your hand. So, <laughs> Takeshi-san. Yes. Oh, we have a question over here. Ah, thank you. So I assume that permeation uh -huh. of hydrogen through the, your O-ring is yes. also very uh, low and very minor, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah, very low, yeah. So uh, I cannot uh, that, uh, show, show you that, that, uh, uh, how much precisely, but uh, yeah, the permeation rate is very, very low. Right, and... Thank you so much. Thank you. Takeishi, so yes? why, why is it so important to have good O-rings in the hydrogen sector? Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, the shearing is always uh, the, the, the problem. Yeah, and the hydrogen is a very tiny and uh, uh, pressure is very high. That, that's why it's a very, very, uh, it, 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 it's easily become a very big problem. So, yeah. Um, uh, rubber, rubber shearing is a very, very, well, what to say, uh, delicate problem. <laughs> so, so our rings is a very good quality. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Very small molecule and, yes. and very, very high pressures up yes. to, to 700 bar often. Mm. I mean, then, then you need the best O-rings in yes. the world to, uh, oh, to, to keep my, it in, uh, in place, I think right? so. So <laughs> my, might be a hidden champion. <laughs> exactly. Any other questions from the audience? All right. right, then I invite you all to uh, join Takeshi San mm. in his booth. Where was it again? Uh, F22. F22. This direction, <laughs> yeah. Is there still sake tonight? Uh, or, yeah, a uh, little bit. A little bit of sake. <laughs> little bit. You, right. you can taste. <laughs> all right, thank you very much, Takeshi San. Thank you so much. And thank you all. Thank you.